Allison has the most deal breakers of anyone I've ever met. Gabby has none, and that's a problem. The only time it was like, Tinder's great. Tinder is hell on earth where all your hopes go to die. Talking about your ex too much. 30 seconds, fine, but if you keep talking about it, it's like, I'm your date, I'm not your therapist. Guys who chew with their mouths open. Oh, this one's so horrible. Gross. I had an ex-boyfriend who I would consistently be eating and I'd be like, please close your mouth. If you text during the date, Nope. Rude. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. If you don't do this, you are gross. No smoking. Uh. If I wanted to make out with a cigarette or a chimney, I would just do that. That thing will kill you. If I don't kill you first, that'll kill you. Guys that spit, they're like, I can't even do it because I would never do that. I've never gotten why that's just like an okay thing for people to do. Yeah. Deal breaker, Crocs. Deal breaker, Ed Hardy. Deal breaker, looks like he drives a motorcycle, but doesn't. Guys who wear those pastel shorts. Pastel shorts really don't do it for me. Who do they do it for? Interesting guys. You could also describe as unstable. I like a tall, rich guy. Nothing original about it, but it's been working for everyone for years. Look. Women love stability. It's science. We like guys who have their shit together. It's sexy. Guys who have bad grammar. Anyone that uses the wrong, like, your. Oh my god. The wrong god. to. The wrong where's. The wrong where's? Some like, people do that? Oh, absolutely. What and is like, wrong with everyone? If you're against nicknames, I don't want to date you. That's not fun. This is why Sex in the City has, like, misled me so much. I thought that when I got older, guys would be like, hey, Pop-Tart, how you doing? I'd be like, oh. Good, hi. But like, no guys call you Pop-Tart. You need to call girls Pop-Tart. That's a cute ass nickname. If you're a super sh talker, I talked it every now and then. But if you talked it about everything, we're done. They sit down and like, are immediately complaining about their long day, you know, or like, they talk too much. Cause I need to talk too much. That's my thing. I don't like someone who needs me as their entire social life, who's constantly checking in about what I'm up to. I'm confused because I'm all those things. I once dated a guy and I was like, he has so much time for me. And then I realized he had no friends. He needs to have a social life because what happens when you go out with your girls? You don't like it when women are obsessed with you, but you like it when men are obsessed with you. It's weird. Ladies are scary. Guys like get too handsy. Like they're just kind of like all over you. So. You like grilled cheese? <laughs> Someone's a little too thirsty. Guys that don't get tested, they're probably hiding something. Guys that are like very hyper masculine. Yeah, so I got a nine inch dick. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. I think people can come up with all kinds of deal breakers and then when they meet someone, their pheromones take over and it doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, we never follow the rules. There's a lot of silly deal breakers, but I feel like there's places to compromise when you really like someone. Grammar's not silly. If you have any big significant disagreements about how you want your lives to play out, deal breaker. Unless you're willing to compromise, then you'll be miserable. <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs>